everyone. Welcome to Whisper the Mystery. A very warm welcome to all the new and existing subscribers. Welcome to the family. Today's reading, we're going to look into the person you're thinking about. You may be in no contact or in separation from them. What are they currently thinking or feeling and will they contact you soon? There are three pals over here. This is the first pal, the pink heart. The second pal, the yellow heart. And the third pal, the blue heart. So please take a moment, visualize your person, meditate on the cards and use your intuition to choose the pal. You could also pause the video to meditate on them. And if you're ready, let's start with the first pal, the pink heart. Welcome pal one, all those who've chosen the pink heart. It's an honor for me to do a reading for you today. We're now going to look into the person you're thinking about with whom you are in no contact. How are they currently thinking or feeling and will they contact you soon? So we're going to start with the tarot cards first and we'll have a look at the message at the end. Okay, so let me just give this a quick shuffle. So this would be your energy. This is your person's energy. This is how they see you. This is how you see them. The past, present, future, and the potential outcome. I'll just move the cards a little bit. Okay, so for your energy, we have here the Four of Wands. Your person's energy, we have the Three of Cups. They see you as the Knight of Swords. You see them as the Eight of Pentacles. For the past, we have Two of Pentacles. Present, we have Three of Wands. Future, we have the Ace of Pentacles. And potential outcome, we have here the Emperor. Okay. Part one, I feel you've gone through a lot of ups and downs in these connections. I'm just sensing from this. Okay, there has been a lot here which I'm seeing happening. Now, okay, let's start first with your energy. With the Four of Wands, I'm sensing that you are in a place where you want something stable here with this person or stability is something very, very important for you. So if you're in a relationship or connection, you would want it to progress to the next level and not just leave it as a relationship. So this is something which is extremely, extremely um, important for you here, I'm sensing. For your person's energy, we have here the Three of Cups. So seeing your three, three, for some of you, yeah, there could be um, third parties involved here, I'm sensing. If that's not the situation, I feel that wherever your person is right now, they're trying to keep themselves happy. They're probably trying to move on as well. Okay, that's what I'm sensing. So they're trying to find the light somewhere else. But I'm going to come to the rest of the cards. So please don't stop at the reading here because I feel like there is going to be a change coming soon, which is what I'm feeling very strongly from this. But right now, what I'm sensing is your person here is trying to... Um, find a happiness somewhere else or in something else, okay? They see you as the Knight of Swords. So I feel like um, there is some sort of misunderstanding here which has been created, okay? And you could be as well pretty sharp in your words, uh, which for your person seems to be very direct, okay? Because I don't feel they are someone who directly speaks things. They don't, they probably are someone who bottle up their um, feelings and emotions. I'm strongly feeling with this. But for you, things are black and white. How you truly feel, that's how you express it. And this sometimes comes in very, very difficult for your person to accept. You see them as the Eight of Pentacles. I feel like you see them as a very ambitious person who has many dreams, many um, desires out there, and they do work hard towards achieving them. So yeah, you see a person as... Um, someone who is a hard worker. They could be someone as well where, you know, till late at night they're sitting and working or they're sitting and just doing so many things here, I'm sensing. And you could also be seeing them as someone who has many people around them or, um, yeah, it's just so much going on in your person's life. Maybe you were even like craving for that 
time to spend with a person where it's only the two of you, but every time it's like something or someone probably comes in between your connection and relationship. For the past, we have the two of pentacles. So yes, your person was probably juggling through many things here I'm sensing, or if there was a third party between you and another person, okay, that could have been something which was going on since a while. If that's not the situation, if it's not a third person, but with so many things happening here, it's not a surprise that your person was juggling, was not able to give you the love and attention which you desired or deserve. Now, with the three of wands, I'm sensing that your person does still miss you. There is a lot of passion here, I'm sensing. And there is a lot of, we have your wands, which is your energy, three of wands here. So there is a passion and desire here um, of being together again, of coming coming together again, I'm just sensing it. And this fire is then not just within you. I'm seeing this transformation here happening to your person. Where right now they're a bit, you know, laid back, but they are going to soon, very soon feel the fire again, I'm sensing. So for the future, we have the Ace of Pentacles, potential outcome, we have here the Emperor. So I feel like, like I said in the beginning, there would be some sort of transformation here happening to your person. And I don't know what's going to happen to your person, okay, but they are going to soon realize many things. And once they do realize this, once they do have this inner transformation, I see them making this solid, solid offer to you and being the type of person where maybe you always desire them, someone to be strong, someone to be there by your side, okay, because it's coming up as the emperor over there. So there is this emperor with the commitment is like a solid, solid commitment. Okay, it's either they would decide then if they want to be with this third person or not, or, you know, they could probably decide that you are very, very important for them and they will make you their priority. But there is something here which is coming up and I feel like, yes, this offer here would be made to you and it's a solid one where this person will finally decide they're not going to be in this juggling phase. It's a massive step up here. It's a massive transformation here, which would be happening. Now, Ace of Pentacles is a slow energy, no doubt, right? But I'm seeing this kind of like directly coming up as the um, as the Ace. That's for your future and potential outcome, Emperor. So I could I'm seeing for some of you that probably this person would be contacting you pretty soon because with the Wands energy as well, it's a fiery energy. So there is something here which is going to shift within your person. In the past, yes, there could have been someone very very slow in making a move. But now I'm sensing the moment they do realize that you are meant for them or they do realize where did they go wrong or how things could have been different, they're not going to waste a lot of time. So I feel like they would be contacting you um, the moment they have this realization. Okay, so let's move on now to see what the Romance Angels have in store for you. Oh my God, we have you very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So yes, very, very soon I'm sensing that your person could be deciding, right? I'm not seeing as a decision from your side because you are pretty decisive. You know exactly what you want and how you want it. You know it. And a lot of you, I feel, could be already trying to manifest this person and you're trying to live in that moment where this person is already with you. That's the energy I'm getting here from um, a lot of you watching. But with very soon, yes, your person would um, understand things very soon and they'll be making this decision. And once they do decide, they are going to really, really decide and put their foot down. Okay, so that's a really solid offer here, which I'm seeing going to come up for you, Pawan. Really exciting. Okay, Pawan, I hope you enjoyed and resonated with this reading. If you did, please don't forget to share, like and subscribe. I'm offering various types of readings, a tarot reading, soul reading. I'm also teaching tarot and I'm also a relationship coach. So if you're interested in any of the services, you could email me. My email address is mentioned in the description below and I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Goodbye. Welcome pal to all those who have chosen the yellow heart. It's an honor for me to do a reading for you today. We're now going to look into the person you're thinking about. You may be no contact or in separation from them. How are they currently thinking or feeling and will they contact you soon? So I'm going to start with the tarot cards first. At the end, we'll have a look at the message from the Romance Angels. Okay, let's give this a little bit shuffle. Right, so this is your energy. This is your person's energy. 
This is how they see you. This is how you see them. Okay, we have the past, present, future, and the potential outcome. Just arrange it a little. Okay, so for your energy, we have beautiful two of cups. Your person's energy, we have the Nine of Cups. They see you as the Ace of Cups. And you see them as the Nine of Swords. My God, so many Cups energies here. For the past, we have Ten of Cups. Pal 2, what's happening? <laughs> Present, we have the Four of Pentacles. Future, we have the Wheel of Fortune. And for the potential outcome here, we have the Five of Pentacles. Okay, Pal 2. Right, I'm getting a very, very heavy feeling out of this. It's like there is love here from both your sides. I'm sensing, like I said, there's so many cups energies out of the eight cards. We have one, two, three four cards here being represented by the cup so there is a lot of emotions here between the two of you i'm just sensing that it's it's a little bit unfortunate or it's a little bit where you both here in spite of having tremendous amount of love and affection here for each other are under i won't say i won't call it victim i don't want to call it that but it's like a karma here which you both had to clear okay it's again let me just clarify it's not a karmic connection as such where you know you both were meant to hurt each other no but you both here were meant to help each other grow a lot and that's the reason why in spite of having so much love and affection here maybe you both are currently not together because that's what destiny or life had in store for you to help you grow if that makes sense okay so for your energy here, we have here the two of cups. So I'm seeing for a lot of you, it's like a soulmate or twin flame connection here, which I'm sensing very, very, very deep connection here. Even a telepathic connection here, I'm sensing. And the way your person sees you, we have the nine of cups. So they are wishing for the two of you as well to be together. They're hoping for the two of you to be together. And it's like you both have this equal amount of emotions your person is currently feeling very isolated i must say even if you feel they are surrounded with people or they have so many connections or relationships around them it's not the same they are just putting up this this mask here i'm sensing in front of the world because they're seeing you as the ace of cups it's like you are the true love you mean so much to them and it's like they are the nine of cups but the way they feel for you is the Ace of Cups, 9 plus 1, 10. It's like you both complete each other. And without each other, you both are like incomplete. You've been having very sleepless nights here, I'm sensing. You've been very worried about the situation, this connection here. I feel here for a lot of you, your person could have been the one who um, stepped out from the connection or stopped communicating. And that's what, of course, is making you feel very anxious and worried. Your past was so, so blissful here with the Ten of Cups. It's like you both completed each other completely. That's how it feels. It's just this very, very deep bond here I'm sensing. I feel like your confidence as well could have gone quite low by now. You could be feeling like little lack of self-esteem. There, Something here, it's like energetically, it's dropped. Okay, because the way this person made you feel, they just made you feel so alive, so full of life, so complete that without them, you're just not feeling yourself. You've like, like lost yourself. For the present, we have here the Four of Pentacles. With this, I'm sensing that you both are just holding on to your memories of the past. You both are holding on to that beautiful moment you spent together and you've stored it, you've kept it somewhere. It might not be something as well which you both share a lot with other people. It's quite like, you know, just deep within yourself because maybe people around you just wouldn't understand 
what is it? For the future, we have the Wheel of Fortune, potential outcome, we have the Five of Pentacles. Now, I'm sensing that a lot of you could also be, you know, distancing yourself, yourself from the world or not really bringing yourself out there, not really socializing that much. You've kind of kept yourself quite aloof. You know, like you've actually probably done that. And for your person, even if they're surrounded by 10 people, they feel aloof as well. But for you, you've probably consciously cut yourself out as well from many people around you. Now, things are going to change, okay? Because the Wheel of Fortune is always a change. It's like destiny has something else in store for you. I feel like this connection will take time. Um, we really don't know about the distant future. This is something coming up, which is here right now. Okay, and it's very, very important for you to not close yourself up to yourself from the world. I feel like Spirit is asking you to open yourself up and to socialize, to mingle with people again. It's very, very difficult, but it's coming up as a very strong message for you. With the Five of Pentacles coming up as the potential outcome, I'm currently not seeing that um, this person would be, well, at least not right now in the immediate future, gaining that courage to come forward okay they are still holding on to your love and thoughts but i don't feel they've still gained that courage out there to contact you okay and that's the reason why it's coming up where you're feeling the sense of loss you're feeling like yeah you've lost a person that's how it's feeling but what's happening is that your energy is just getting drained down it's very very important pal too to understand this that you need to be in that high vibration. And that's the reason why as well this person enter your, entered your life is to show you that within you, you have the potential to come up in that high vibration. Do not waste months or years searching for this love again. You need to bring that up within yourself. Okay, you need to self-love. That is so important, pal, too. I'm telling you, if this is something which is recently has happened, you will realize this years down the line that self-love was the answer to this. Okay, you will realize it. And if already so much time has gone by, you know that, pal, too, that you're not meant to waste some more time. Okay, you need to really look after yourself and increase your high vibration because this connection, you just don't know with the Wheel of Fortune, it's destiny. You just don't know maybe a few years down the line you could cross path again. But remember, the first time you both crossed paths was when you were in high vibration, wasn't it? It was a time when you were very confident, very happy. So you need to increase your vibration again. So attract true love into your life. Okay. Let's see what message romance angels have here. Oh my God, you deserve love. You're lovable. Absolutely. And if you see here, she's pointing the arrow. She is completely confident in her power. She knows she deserves love. Okay. Whether you're he or she watching, but... I'm just saying here based on the figure here. So this person knows that they deserve love and that's the type of energy and confidence and vibe which you need to embrace. And you've done that before, you can do it again, pile two. It's coming up as a very, very strong message. So yes, I'm not seeing a communication coming through currently, but what I am sensing is this deep love and bond here which you both share with each other. And the wheel of fortune, the destiny here is in place. So you just don't know what's gonna happen next who's going to enter your life, maybe it could be the same person entering your life, or maybe you decide to just give yourself all that love in the meantime. All right, pal two, I hope you resonated with this reading. If you did, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. I'm offering various types of readings, um, a soul reading, tarot reading, I'm teaching tarot, and I'm also a relationship coach. So if you're interested in any of the services, you could email me. My email address is mentioned in the description below. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Goodbye. Welcome, Paltry, all those who have chosen the blue heart. It's an honor for me to do a reading for you today. We're now going to look into the person you're thinking about. You may be in no contact or in separation from them. What are they currently thinking or feeling? And will they contact you soon? Okay, and I feel here something about my candle. So give me one minute. I'll just bring up a new one. Because I don't want this to go off. Right. So, new candle for you. Let's see. 
in the reading coming up. What does it mean? There must be a significance to that. Okay. New candle. Pile three. So this is your energy. This is your person's energy. This is how they see you. This is how you see them. At the past, present, future, and a potential outcome. Okay. So for your energy, we have the tower. Okay. Your person's energy, we have here the knight of pentacles. They see you as the star. You see them as the ace of pentacles. Very, very strong messages coming up, I feel. For the past, we have the page of cups. Present, we have the five of wands. Okay, future, we have the page of swords. And potential outcome here, we have the ace of wands. Right. Okay, something new. There was a strong reason, of course, why the candle suddenly was trying to go off. But then before it went off, we saved it out there with a new candle. And your energy is coming up here as a tower where this relationship for a lot of you has really shattered you, Paltry. It's, it's broken you down for a lot of you. It's made you experience things which you never thought you'll ever experience emotionally, maybe financially as well. But it seems like a big, big breakdown for you, okay, with the Tower card. Your things just turned upside down. Your life turned upside down. Okay, that's what I'm sensing. It might not be literally upside down, but of course, you're emotionally, there could be a lot of emotional turmoil here, which I'm sensing. For your person, um, it looks like they walked away, they moved away to something where they felt more stable and secured. Okay, that's the type of energy here I'm sensing. So it's like when this person moved away or walked away, for a lot of you, I'm also sensing you could have been emo um, sorry, financially dependent here on this person. I'm getting this message here for some of you. If that was the case as well, it just made things much more difficult because already emotionally things were difficult. Financially just made it worse. Okay, But otherwise, I'm sensing that you somewhere knew this was coming. Okay, I don't think, yes, it was sudden, but I feel like your inner voice kind of always cautioned you something about the situation or person here because I'm sensing that this was not something which happened overnight it was something which just you know um it just kept building up and that's when finally here everything broke down but maybe you didn't want to accept it okay that's the situation you still feel this person to be very stable you still have a lot of hopes and desires here for your person I'm sensing and you still feel like once they are back into your life, things will stabilize and become better for you. That's how you're sensing here from this person. I'm, um, I'm sensing here from the cups energy was something in the past. So in the past, yes, there were a lot of emotions. But the way you all are seeing each other right now and the way the energies are moving, I'm not really sensing that. So you feel, um, yes, definitely you love the person. That's the reason why you're watching this, right? But I'm just getting that there is some sort of insecurity here where you feel like this person will bring you all the stability here, which your inner child really wants. Okay, The way your person sees you is a star card. So they know you're shattered, but they kind of believe that you are going to come out of that. And you're quite a strong person as far as they know. So they do realize that after this you know, this moment here, which has been difficult for you, they do believe that you'll be able to come out of it. I'm just getting a little bit of, um, I don't know, like a little mean energy here from this person where they've not taken your emotions a lot into consideration, I'm sensing. They've probably thought first about themselves. Okay. For the past, yes, you know, um, there were emotions involved and I feel this person could have been highly romantic as well in expressing their love towards you. But it's the energy of page. It's not like a king. So it's not like a very mature type of energy here. 
Okay, so there is this sense of immaturity which your person had. They could be someone who very quickly made you fall in love with them. Okay, that's what I'm feeling with this. In the present, we have the wands energy, the five of wands, which is a card of conflicts, disagreements. So, um, yeah, your energy could be, there could be this like inner battle here happening within you where maybe some of you could also be blaming yourself that why did you trust this person? or you still love them so much, or in spite of everything, you still want them back. It's an inner conflict here, which I'm seeing here. Now, moving forward, we have the Page of Swords and the Ace of Wands. Okay, so potentially, potentially, I'm seeing that, yes, a communication could come through. But it's coming across as the Page of Swords. Again, it's an immature energy, right? And it could be where depending on the person's situation that time, whether they want you back or not, if they want you back or not, okay? Because I'm seeing here, a person here could be slightly manipulative. I don't know why I'm sensing that. So um, if they do feel like, you know, okay, they want you back again, they'll again try to, you know, um, express their passion, express their desire, and make you fall in love with them all over again, okay? Because it could be that type of person. But pile three this is again the page this is not a king or someone this is not someone who's come up with a very mature talk it's again taking you back to the same old cycle for some of you this could have been like a cycle happening in your life where maybe you make up you break up you hot and cold you know that's the type of energy as well which is coming true so your person here could again potentially come back with a desire to win you back again but again you don't know when things will fall apart so it really depends on you, what type of favor you want to do on yourself, how much you love yourself, how much self-esteem you have, Pile 3, to understand if this is a repetitive pattern, it's not going to stop, okay? Or to understand if that person is trying to manipulate you or do they truly want you back in their life, that's truly up to you. I'm sensing though, you could have a new beginning here with someone else. Okay, but that is going to be up to you. It's like the universe will be offering this to you, but it's going to be up to you whether you want to take up that proposal or not. You could be again here with this person. Okay, there is an opportunity, yes, but it's up to you how much you want to proceed with this. Let's see what message the romance angels have here for you. Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to share. But I'm just getting this more like a playful energy here. From the person because I picked it up as a message here about your connection and it's coming up playfulness again you see it's not a serious energy here which is coming we have your page page it's just there I'm not seeing a serious form of energy here so it could be something which is just going round and round or either you know maybe you both are quite young and that could be the reason as well why this is coming up so if you both are really really young then of course you're not going to see a very um, serious or mature type of energy if that's the case that's fine you know but if you know you're not very young and you do want something really stable and serious in your situation and connection then this is something you need to think about pile three because you are going to get the opportunity the universe is going to present you one but you need to open yourself up again and you need to be very very strong to put your head up okay to not take on any more crap here from this person all right, Paltry, I hope you resonated with this reading. If you did, please don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. I'm offering various types of reading. I'm offering a tarot reading, soul reading. I'm teaching tarot course, and I'm also a relationship coach. So if you're interested in any of the services, you could email me. My email address is mentioned in the description below. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care. Goodbye.